Hello and welcome back to another video today here again on Forza Horizon 4 to compare the three Holy Trinity cars. Yes, I know this is a bit of an overdone and slightly old comparison now, um, but we had three of us on the game, um, so we thought we would try uh, this challenge out. So um, Elf immediately opted for the Ferrari LaFerrari. Um, so that was taken, which I'm not worried about. I went for the McLaren, which is my favourite, um, which meant um, James was um, left with the Porsche, which none of us really wanted or cared about. Um, but anyway, this is what happened when we compared the three vehicles here on Forza Horizon 4. So before the challenge itself begins, a little game of top trumps. I'm going to give you a few stats. Starting with the Ferrari, we have 963 horsepower. It weighs 3,031 pounds and is 966 performance index on Horizon 4. Um, so for all three cars, I'm just going to give the, the stats in-game, because in the end, those are the cars we're comparing. Uh, and the price, I believe, when new, these were priced at exactly 1 million. On to the McLaren, which has 903 horsepower, weighs 3,296 pounds. Forza rates it at 962 PI, so 4 PI lower than the Ferrari. And I believe when this was new, it was placed uh, priced at around... £800,000, so slightly lower than the Ferrari. Last, and in this case also least, the Porsche 918, with only 887 horsepower, the only one below 900, uh, weighs £3,692, the heaviest of all... No, uh, yes, the heaviest of all three, and comes in at 942 PI. Of course, this has the advantage of all-wheel drive, but it is rated quite a lot lower in Forza. Uh, these were only priced, I think, at 600,000 when they were new. So, and yeah, very much the one none of us wanted. Um, anyway, let's see how they compare in some practical challenges. Ah, uh, so they're doing the holy... Straight road. Okay, well, I don't. Straight road. <laughs> It's basically Perfect. a top speed test. <laughs> when this quick chat phrase disappears, we'll go. It disappears. How long does that take? Wiped out by Mercedes. avoid you than crash into that. I don't know. Say the, I hit the tram. Right. So if the McLaren loses, you're not going to come and blow my house left. up, are you? Turn left. No. At the roundabout, well, that's what happened when take I lost. the second exit. In, in 400 yards, you don't arrive at your destination. Okay, 
Yeah, so so far the Porsche is the best. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. Well, it's the most controllable. The Ferrari's the worst. Oh my god. Sorry. <laughs> These cars are too fast to race. Should we have been swapping cars between rounds? Possibly. Maybe. God's sake. Well, there goes the La Ferrari. If we kept swapping cars, then I wouldn't be in the McLaren anymore. I like the McLaren. I like the Ferrari. I like the McLaren. <laughs> <laughs> I had a choice well, of all three, I'd buy a Regera. <laughs> I won't buy any of them. I'd buy a P1 if I could afford a P1. <laughs> P1's the actual only one out of these three that I've actually seen in reality. I've seen two La Ferraris this year. This P1. What? The purple one you're driving? Yeah. So none in reality? No, I've seen this one in reality. The one I was trying to copy the colour of. I want to do this race again. I don't. I just got stuck because you're holding the lead. <laughs> because the reclaimer's one. Ah, good wood. No, 2019. No, I don't, yeah, I don't think it was there this year. They had this McLaren or the press car mm. it was on their stand. They always one day I'll get together the wood. Yellow one. Yeah, they were. Well, quick slipstream the P1 as it goes past. How fast are you going? I'm going 250. How? 360. 365. Oh, that was 240. I'm down to 240 now, but it hit 250. I don't think a P1 does 250. This one does. It's delimited. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was meant to do 217, just like the LaFerrari. And the Porsche is meant to I do got, 211. I got 357. So, hang on. I'll have to work out the math on that one. P no P one. I'm asking the internet. Three fifty seven divided by one hundred times sixty two point one. I did two hundred and twenty one point six miles an hour. I didn't think this thing did any more than two seventeen. Mm. I thought don't they aren't they all supposed to do two seventeen? Yeah. Oh, I don't care about the fuel economy. I want to know how fast it is. 
But fuel economy is important in a million pound, uh, three million pound suit car. Hey, you just bring a truck with you everywhere. It takes 6.2 seconds to stop from 186 miles an hour. That's nice to know. <laughs> but how fast is it? <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, no, it's electronically limited to 217. So they must have removed the limiter in Forza. Hmm. Plus, they do always let cars go faster than they should. Alright, so the Porsche won one thing and the McLaren won two, so the McLaren's the best and the Ferrari's the worst. Okay. Yep, I can agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> Even though the Ferrari's better than the Porsche in real life. I would agree that the McLaren's the best. So there we go, that's what happened in our hypercar, hyper, hypercar, hypercar comparison here on Forza Horizon 4 um, with the McLaren versus the Ferrari versus the Porsche. So the McLaren won the most challenges, um, the Porsche did reasonably well uh, and I think won one of the challenges because um, of its all-wheel drive and the Ferrari didn't really do that well, which I don't think is anything like the conclusion they drew on the Grand Tour. But anyway, um, the McLaren's always been my favourite so I'm really pleased that that effectively won um, and it was the car I was driving so that means I won which is always good uh, anyway that is going to be all for today's video comparing these three hypercars here on Forza Horizon 4 so thank you very much for watching and I'll be back with the next video very soon